Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Anyway, coming at you with a uh, Clear Lake Clear Lake Fishing Report for May the 16th, 2023. Anyway, uh, I'll start out with the, uh, the, uh, with the water conditions. We've been starting out the day in the high 60 range and ending the day in, in the mid 70s. We've had some really warm days and it's continuing to uh, just get warmer up here. Like today, it's gonna be probably 90 degrees, but uh, <clears throat> we even went out for Mother's Day and uh, went swimming for the first time this year and uh, it was the water temperature was really comfortable we were able to stay in the water and just really enjoy ourselves it wasn't torture at all but anyway the uh, the water clarity here in the oaks I'm seeing I'm actually finding anywhere from about two feet all the way up to uh, six feet in spots and a lot of that's got to do with wind a lot of that's got to do with the carp the carp have really moved into here I saw a carp that uh, it had to be 40 plus pounds it's the biggest carp I've ever seen in here it was unreal I wish I could have gotten some pictures of it but uh Anyway, with the fishing, went out with a buddy, Eric, and uh, we decided to challenge ourselves and decided that we were not going to catch any fish on a bed purposely. We weren't just going to target them sitting on the beds. You know, every, pretty much everywhere you go, that's what it is right now. It's uh, here's a bed, there's a bed, everywhere's a bed bed. But uh, with that said, 90% uh, of the beds I'm seeing only have one fish on them. So it, it's not a it's not a lot of pairs here and there. You're going to see them, but uh, they're they're a little spooky. But we're seeing a, a lot of a lot of single males. So we decided not to uh, not to target those fish. So with that said, what we did is uh, we just went just went down the banks and started targeting the trees and um, just the deeper slopes where we know there's lots of roots and stuff down in the water here in the Keys. And uh, my buddy was throwing a uh, root beer colored cinco, and of course I was throwing my trusty KVD. Coffee scented brush hog on a half in, half ounce tungsten weight, and uh, just went down through there, and uh, just flipping, 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 flipping for an hour and a half. And my buddy had one fish on the cinco, and I had zero bites. And of course, in between, every time you see a little piece of grass or something or a nice little shade pocket, we were trying to force feed the frog. And uh, I hate to tell you guys this because this should just be off the hook right now, but I haven't had a I haven't had a frog bite yet, and it's driving me crazy, and everybody I'm talking to out here that I bump into, we're all trying to force feed the frog, and um, just haven't got them yet. So that didn't pop for us, but what we finally did figure out, I broke out the glide bait, and we started targeting the uh, the docks, because, you know, we, we, we were seeing some of the females kind of just, you know how they suspend up around there, the docks and stuff, so I started throwing the glide bait around these docks, and man, did that turn out to be the ticket because, uh, mind you, I didn't catch one, but I was able to draw them out with the, uh, with the glide bait. And then my buddy was following it up with the Cinco and, uh, that, that was the ticket. We could have probably gone anywhere around here. And, oh, mind you, that was in the clear water and that, in that stained water, I, I'm not so sure that that would have uh, worked out, but I had a slow sink S waiver. And that was a ticket because I could throw it over the ramp. You know, in a lot of these docks, they have a lot of a uh, lot of boat ramps and stuff that uh, that keep their boats out of the water. And um, you know, a fast thing is just not going to give you enough time to to really uh, <clears throat> play with that fish and entice it. So with that slow slink guide bait, I was able to just throw it up in there, just pitch it. You know, you're you're making 10, 20 feet cast. It's really it's not just a long cast and <clears throat> drag it back in like you think it'd be. You're just working working all the all the angles of those docks and uh man the big girls were coming out there and uh, throwing a study on it. it had a couple of them just nip at it a little bit and come at it really aggressive but uh just just didn't get one to actually eat it but the uh they were they were definitely eating that cinco on the follow-up and uh my buddy's cinco this this is probably the closest color i've got to it it was kind of a root beer and a brown and they were just really eating that one up so uh that's how our day went for the fishing. We uh, we only caught four fish, but we were only out for four hours, and we uh, we had an absolute blast. But what blew my mind is that flip bite wasn't just off the hook here. You know, I thought we were just going to catch 10, 20 fish just by by accident where we were fishing. Because I mean, just all the books I read, everything was just set up perfectly, but uh, it just didn't didn't come together for us. But with that said. What I think is going to happen is things are just absolutely going to go crazy up here. Like I say, you guys that are coming up to fish this weekend, it's beds, 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 beds. And, um, of course, the guy on the front of the boat is going to be locked in on a, uh, 
on a bed trying to catch that. And if the guy in the back doesn't have one to uh, to work on, what's he going to do? Well, I've got a few tips for you guys. When uh, <clears throat> when you're in that situation, a lot of people call it just blind casting. I call it fan casting. But get out your little drop shot. Here's here's my favorite worm this time of year. This little robo worm, but you can see it's got the white on the belly. So when you're pitching it up on beds and stuff, you can see this bait really, really, really good. And, uh, man, they just, something about this, they just absolutely love this bait up here on Clear Lake. So I would be fan casting that off the back. And, of course, the Cinco, just Texas rig is Cinco with a 16th ounce tungsten. And just fan cast that sucker. There's, when you get up on those flats, there's really no bad cast. And you can just throw that out there and just reel it in super nice and slow and, uh, that, more than likely, that's going to be the, the big fish of the tournament. But another great worm up here that a lot of people have just kind of forgotten is the Zoom Trick Worm. Just Texas rig that sucker again with a light weight. Or even even do this on a, a rogue shaky and fish it like a shaky head. You can throw that out there, and they just absolutely love this worm up here. So put that on your arsenal if you're coming up this weekend. And uh, I went out in the... Uh, the harvester. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but caught a few crawdads. So you guys that are jig fishermen, I want to show you the. the this is about the closest thing I can find to the color of that crawdad. It kind of had the uh, the orangish red with a little little green tint in it. So I wanted to grab t a couple baits that I thought just really kind of matched that crawdad for you guys, so you could have a general idea of what you wanted to tie on for your jigs for you guys that love coming up here and just beating up those docks. But. Uh, <clears throat> that's the color for that and then i want to show you guys my my number one little uh, arsenal for picking them off the beds this little white crawl just on a nice little nice little jig head it's just that simple i mean you don't have to come up here loaded for bear when you're you're catching these fish on beds i mean your average fish is probably going to be about three pounds so if you got 12 pound floral and just a little tiny bait like this they're just those little bucks just can't stand this. This thing, it just, these claws just raise heck on the way down there. And uh, they just, you know, they they just, this thing really ticks them off. And it's, <laughs> you catch them so fast, you really don't have to pick on them. But with that said, you're catching the males with these. This isn't what's going to make that female mad and irritate her and get her to eat. So what I've been doing with that is I've been just, just throwing my trash fish out there. And the reason why I like this is because that hook is not exposed. And that male can pick this up four or five times and set it off the bed. And you're not going to get a hook in him because you don't want to catch that male first. You're going after that female. If you if you catch that male first, the female will usually always leave leave the bed and you don't have a shot at her. So so with this, I can just, <clears throat> just keep flipping it onto that bed. And that, that male just makes four or five attempts to get rid of it. And that, that female will finally get irritated enough that... She'll come over and pick it up and show him how it's done, and that's when you have a chance of getting a hook in the fish that you that you that you need. But another good one that I like, you know, this unless anything with bluegill. So this is this is another one that you can just soak down there on a bed. So get you something similar to this. Kind of you know, go with the bluegills. They they hate the bluegills this time of the year, and you can throw that in there and let that sink. You can see it's got that exposed hook. So a lot of times that that female is going to get that one, but. On uh, we're hitting the summer phase, so the fish are in there. I mean, they're in all three phases. I'm seeing the fry, I'm seeing four inch bass, and I'm seeing a lot of the females that are spent recovering, suspended up underneath the dock. So that's going to be a number one way for you guys to come up here and target them is have your wacky rig sinko and fish those docks. But I'm telling you guys that are getting out there early, don't be afraid to go old school, man. Baby bass, just bust bust out your topwater wake baits and throw those along those docks, especially if in in the shade when when they're setting up. And you know it can the deep the deep docks, the shallow docks. I mean, early in the morning, you, you just you just can't go wrong with a wake bait. That that could be the bite of the day. And also, it's time of the year. Let's get let's get those buzz baits tied on. This is what I throw up here. I don't know what it is about about the double double baited buzz bait in black, but man, it just they. I, I try to change it up. I try to do different things, but I always end up back with this one. This just they just they just eat this one. There's just something about it. I think it's all the blackbirds. You know, we've got all the little swallows and and the different birds. This just really matches a lot of a lot of the birds you're going to find up here in Clear Lake. And you can throw this under all the little bridges and all these high docks. 
that with the <clears throat> with the covers on them and stuff they all have the little swallows and stuff and those fish they they're paying attention to those little little chicks that might fall out of those nests so that's a good way to get them but uh I don't know. It's just killing me. I'm not getting a frog bite yet, but <laughs> you, you guys have got to come up here and have that tie it on and throw it. It's going to go. And um, anyway, the the water level is, we're still at about seven and a half feet. The water's dropping a little bit. This this heat is just uh, <clears throat> getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. The algae bloom is starting, but um, you can honestly go anywhere on the lake, in any section of the lake, and you're going to find what you're looking for. If you like the stained water, you can find it. If you like the clear water, you can find it. Pretty much anything that you like to do, you can come up here and do right now. But in all honesty, if you guys are up here looking for a big bag, that's all going to be beds, 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 beds. But there are different phases and different ways you can catch them right now. So Clear Lake is, clear Lake is back, baby. So uh, get up here, you know, be respectful of others and... Um, just, you know, I like to tell people, treat people the way you want to be treated and come up here. We're, we're all here to have fun. So, you know, we're not, <clears throat> we're not up here trying to make our living. So just come up, enjoy yourself and be kind to others. Take a kid fishing and peace out. Don't forget to subscribe and like.